Hello everyone, does AFib cause anxiety? This is a subject that is really important to me. As I read through the comments on this channel, I've noticed a common trend that many of you are struggling with the anxiety and fear caused by AFib. Some of you have even said it is the worst part of AFib, and I agree. I don't think the anxiety associated with AFib gets enough attention. When I first learned I had AFib and would discuss with family and friends, the most common response I got was, does it make you short of breath? Does it make you lightheaded? Do you get dizzy easy? Or does it hurt? All the questions were about the physical aspects of AFib, which makes sense, but unexpectedly it was the mental aspects, the anxiety and fear caused by AFib that were the hardest parts on me. When I got AFib, my personality changed. I was restless, on edge, and had a difficult time focusing on tasks. I was much more irritable and moody, which affected my personal life. I've never had problems sleeping, but now with AFib, I often have trouble falling asleep and staying asleep. All of these negative things I had never experienced before AFib. I did some research on what anxiety is. So some of the common symptoms are feeling nervous, restless, and tense, which is exactly how I felt with AFib. Having a sense of impeding danger, panic, or doom, definitely felt more panic. Having an increased heart rate, that's pretty self-explanatory for those of us with AFib. Breathing rapidly, sweating, trembling, feeling weak or tired, trouble concentrating or thinking about any other thing other than the present worry. I have definitely had a ton of trouble concentrating with AFib. Having trouble sleeping, we've mentioned experiencing GI tract problems, having difficulty controlling worry, and having the urge to avoid things that trigger anxiety. When AFib struck, I definitely experienced the majority of those anxiety symptoms. Before AFib, I was an easygoing, confident, and relaxed person. When I first felt my heart go out of rhythm, I immediately felt uneasy and unsettled. And this was before I knew I had AFib. As my AFib got worse, so did my anxiety. I felt like I was losing control of my life. I came across this article from healthtalk.org discussing the psychological effects and facing the future with AFib. Part of the article talks about the uncertain and irregular nature of AFib episodes can make people feel out of control and unable to plan their life with confidence. One of the people who this article was written about said he found the unpredictability and lack of control very unnerving and felt anxious that his AFib would eventually take over. I came across another article from the Mayo Clinic that has a ton of useful info. In this article, it says some research shows that people with AFib may be more affected by depression and anxiety, but it does say at present time, researchers don't know whether people with anxiety or depression are more likely to develop AFib or whether having AFib increases the risk of anxiety and depression. More research is needed to fully understand the complex relationship between AFib and these mental health conditions. So the research is not conclusive if AFib causes anxiety, but I believe in my case that it did. Lastly, I came across several articles talking about how to reduce stress when dealing with AFib. Some of the common tips they give are meditation, yoga, relaxation techniques, support from family and friends, regular physical activity, a healthy diet, and a positive attitude. I'll post links to all the articles referenced in this video in the video's details section if you'd like to check those out. AFib is ruthless and often comes out of nowhere to negatively affect our lives. We must keep fighting and not give up. If you're getting any value from my videos, please press the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I will see you next time.